G'day, today I'm just going to go through uh, doing your pre-start checks on a R3H. G'day, I'm Robin from Equip2 and this is a tech video. So every machine that we sell with from Equip2, we also have a weekly pre-start checkbook. Um, this book is here is for impact crushers. They go through the units and check for what to check and this can be signed off by the individual. Gives you your start dates and your hours and end dates and hours. This allows um, any issues to be picked up early and to be uh, fixed on maintenance days. So we have our engine oil level dipstick to check. Oil levels should be in between the two marks. On the side we have a coolant level. If it is needed to be topped up, make sure you use the correct coolant which is stated on the side of the container. Our coolant level, minimum and maximum. We have our hydraulic oil level sight glass and this the sight needs to be into the, in the centre of the sight glass when the machine is in operating mode. Air filter needs to be checked and replaced if the outer air filter is blocked. This also will indicate on the screen and tell you when the air filter is blocked and then the air filter should be replaced. Here we have our transmission and it holds the oil as well. There's a sight glass on here down underneath sight glass here. This needs to be checked after the machine is stopped for five minutes and should be at the middle of the sight glass. It's also important to check your tracks, making sure there's no debris or rocks stuck in the tracks and making sure they are pumped up correctly. So making sure your tail drums are working correctly, making sure the belt is not over to one side, also checking a visual check on your bearings and also your guarding for your tail drum. Also checking your return rollers, making sure they're turning and not full of material so, so they wear out unevenly. Also scrapers are really important. They uh, clean off your belts to stop all your spillage. If it, they do wear out, you can remove them flip them out around so you get a new scraper edge. Also skirting is very important, making sure that no rocks or foreign objects are getting behind the belt. This can do a lot of damage to your belt, so spending the extra time looking and checking your skirting is very important. Also important to check daily your mesh tension on your screen box so you don't prematurely wear out your meshes. So in this video you should have learned how to do the basic pre-start checks on an R3H. This is uh, really important to do to make sure you catch out anything that uh, is broken or wearing out. If you need any assistance with this or any other parts, please get in contact with us, Equip2.